Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the house of the faithful, and the King in all the fire of the love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall reign on the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Saint Joseph, our protector, pray for us. Let us pray. My God, I believe that I'm in your divine presence and I adore you. Thank you for the many blessings you grant me. Forgive me my offenses against you. Assist me in this holy meditation. Enlighten my mind, inflame my heart. Move my way to action and keep her from me all barriers to my spiritual growth. Holy Mary, Mother of Jesus, and my mother also. Saint Joseph, my protector and patron, my guardian angel, and all angels and saints of heaven, pray for me and assist me in this meditation. Amen. So, there is brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to day two of our reflection and meditation on the person and mission of Saint Joseph. Today, we shall be looking at Saint Joseph, a father after God the Father. Yes. St. Joseph is truly a father, not just a father, but a father like God the Father. For the very fact that God saw who Joseph is, a father in St. Joseph, and made him to be a father over his son. We can see a parallel between them. It is not that we are equating Joseph as God. No. Moreover, St. Paul would tell us that all father who comes from God the Father. We know that a father is he who begets, and God begot us in creation as he created us in his image and likeness. We became his sons and daughters. This is exemplified in the hymn of Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 6b, saying that, Is it not your father who gave you being, who made you, by whom you depend? which form the basic understanding of the Israelites about God as they relate with him as a father. He creates, giving them being, and he provides. When Moses say, on whom you depend. God the Father had given Joseph the privilege to give the name Jesus, he who is to save his people from sins, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, which points to the fact that he is a father, ultimately a father like our Father, God Almighty. As Pope Francis, we corroborate this truth in Patrice Corde that, as we know, for ancient peoples, to give a name to a person or to a thing, as Adam did in the account of the book of Genesis, when we can confirm Genesis chapter 2 from verse 19 to 20, was to establish a relationship. And for Joseph, it was a relationship of father and only begotten Son, the shadow of that of God the Father. Another point is this. We know that through the fall of our first parents, we lost the original dignity and friendship of God. We were disfigured by sin and lost the glory as of sons and daughters. But through the sacrifice of Christ, Son of God and Son of Joseph, we were re regenerated. So with the cooperation of St. Joseph in the new covenant, the new creation, we were recreated, regenerated, re-begotten, and gained the glory as of sons and daughters. A further understanding of God as Father for the Israelites is narrated in the reality of the covenantal bond. Covenantal bond between God and Israel. By this bond, God became their father and they became his children as God speaks in the adoptive formula. I will be your God and you will be my people. Likewise, it was by the virtue of the covenantal bond between himself, that is Joseph and his wife Mary, that Joseph became the father of Jesus Christ. Another point is that at different moments, of their history, God returns, renews as He makes everlasting this covenant. This is made perfected in Christ Jesus 
as we become sons and daughters of Almighty Father, regardless of nation, language, not even by blood, but by faith, as found in John chapter 1, verse 14, Galatians 3, verse 26. The covenant of Joseph and Mary is a lasting one, just as St. Pope John Paul II, we call it a sacrament, since there was no divorce. That through faith and obedience, they became first parents of the new covenant of those who believe by faith. We have become by faith, not by blood, not by circumcision. And Joseph becoming the father of all, like the father, the almighty father of all. God is father, yes. Not just because he begot us, but also protects us from evil and damnation. He shows his strength in the care he has for his people as they live under the protection and peace of his wings. He saved them from the cruelty of Pharaoh. He led them through the desert by the cloud, protecting them from danger. And in like manner, Joseph, as a shadow of God the Father, saved the holy family from the cruelty of Herod. He led them through the desert in their escape like cloud and protected them from evil. He saved them as proving a true father. Joseph became the sheltering cloud that protects from evil and demons. Yes, he is known as the terror of evil spirits or demons. We are fragile. God protects us from all sorts of the evil one and damnation. Likewise, Joseph like God the Father, protected the Holy Family. He did as, if, as God the Father did to the people of Israel. And Pope Francis would say, As Jesus came into our world in a state of great vulnerability, he needed to be defended, protected, cared for, and raised by Joseph. And God trusted Joseph to do that work, that mission. God saw that Joseph could be that father, could act like him, why he gave Jesus Joseph. Joseph continues his role as a father as he protects the church and all our members just in the way God wants us to be saved. And we know Joseph as the patron and protector of the university church. Another point is this to look at. Pope Francis will say that we can see that God in his mercy has given us Joseph just and hidden as a shadow of God the Father himself. While we are able to see him, that you see God as he is, a true father. And as Pope John Paul II reported, St. Joseph was called by God to serve the person and mission of Jesus directly through the exercise of his fatherhood and that in this way he cooperated in the fullness of time in the great mystery of salvation and is truly a minister of salvation. So truly Joseph is a father like God the Father. We can have him as a father who provides, who protects. And he continued to intercede for us and play that fatherly role over each and every one of us. So let us pray. Prayer to St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, we come in our trust, having asked the help of your most holy spouse. We confidently ask your patronage also through that sacred bond of charity which united you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the fatherly love with which we embrace the child Jesus. We humbly beg you to look graciously upon the beloved inheritance which Jesus Christ purchased by his blood and to aid us in our necessities with your power and strength. O most provident garden of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Most beloved Father, despite the evil of falsehood and sin, our most mighty protector, graciously assist us from heaven in our struggle with the power of darkness. And just as you once saved the child Jesus from mortal danger, so now defend God's holy church from the snare of our enemies 
and from all adversity, shield each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your help, we may be able to live a virtuous life, to die a holy death, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. See you tomorrow.